I'm John. I'm from Long Island, New York. Uh, I grew up on the water. I am the co-founder and CIO of Dunzel Sailbags, working with William McCarthy, who is the COO and other co-founder. What we're doing is we're taking discarded sailboat sails and turning them into functional new products. Tote bags, toiletry bags, we're working on a duffel bag, um, maybe some dry bags and a backpack in the future. It started over the summer, um, kind of fueled by some, some boredom. I needed to have a project to work on. We are both kind of water faring background type people, you know, we, and we both traveled too, which is, I think really where this comes from, how extreme, like this problem of pollution and, and, you know, plastic in the oceans and just in the environment in general is, is like killing our world. Sailboat sails are, are pretty routinely thrown away. And if they're not immediately thrown away, they're thrown into a garage where they collect dust for five, 10 years. And then somebody's like, okay, that's enough. And then they throw it away. It's used for this really green sport, right? There's no fuel, there's no engine. It's just harnessing the wind. That life cycle hasn't been made efficient. And I think that's really what we're, we're working towards is kind of cleaning up these loose ends. You know, I think it, it really does tie into this, this love for the ocean and, and a desire to see it become a cleaner, safer place. The issue was finding whatever product or service this was to, to kind of clean up and, and, and contribute to making something better. I didn't want to just make a t-shirt and put my logo on it and sell that because it, it's really just adding to the problem. And really the point is we, we want to make the world greener. And even though as immense and massive that problem is, I think just chipping away at it. Really, it's to hone in on, on who specifically this customer is trying to grow and, and you know, address these people who, who really need this product. Guidance. Um, it's, I've been working with Robert over the past few weeks, which has been fantastic. He's very grounding. You know, I, I'm, I'm the kind of person that will open a few different books at a time and finish none of them. He's kind of like, no, focus on this first, make this, you know, finish this book first, right? And then open the next book. It's really the connections and, and just being able to talk to people and, and get feedback and the, the community too. It's, it's got lots of support mechanisms, which is awesome. Continuing this relationship of, of support and guidance and mentorship. Principles of this relationship that I have with Domi Station that is, I've been finding so beneficial. It's, re it's exhilarating. It's rewarding like nothing else. As a generation, that has grown up with, with, you know, instantaneous mobile technology. We're almost wired to have, you know, really fast feedback. This isn't that because I know this is going to take longer than one day, two days, one month, one year, right? This is a longer term project than that. The hardest part really is, is the reassuring and, and the confidence that we're doing something good. It, it will be worth it. It's just unlike what my brain wants because it's not so immediate. I mean, I, I really hope we can reach a wider audience um, in one year. I, I, you know, I really want to have almost too many problems to solve, right? I want, I want to have people throwing things at us saying, this is an issue. What do you think you can do with it? And I would love to be doing this full time. At the moment, it's part time. I'm, I'm splitting this with school um, and the responsibilities around that. Our website is www.dunzel.us. Socials is all at dunzel.us.